In today's video, we're looking at the Kingston Arms Claymore. This is a real beast of a blade. If you're not familiar with the Claymore, it's a large two-handed Scottish weapon. Take a look at some specs, up close looks, and cut testing. Let's get to it. The specs on this one are 55 and 3 eighths inches overall length, 40 and 3 quarter inches of blade length. Yes, this is a double-edged blade. The edge is gonna run until about a palm distance from the guard, and both sides are functionally sharp. We're looking at a blade weight of four pounds, two ounces. So when you're cutting with this one, it's gonna have some weight to it. Claymores are not gonna be like a pound, especially because this is a large two-handed weapon that is known to have some oomph behind the cuts and the thrusts. My blade width is gonna be 42 and a half millimeters. If you look at the pommel, this is gonna be a nut construction pommel, as you can see on the very end of the circular pommel. Most of the time with this type of grip, this grip length is 10 and 3 eighths inches. Most of the time, I mean, of course, you can hold it however you want, but really using the pommel as a lever for cuts and for changing the different guard positions on this claymore, even if you are going into a single hand or into a double hand, it has a lot of really great control. Well, we're looking at how tall this Scottish claymore is. I have a martial arts staff in my left hand, or a tan staff, and you can see I'm six feet tall, so seeing the length of that, it's right, the height of it is at my cheekbone. And then right before this touches the ground, the pommel, so we can even ditch this right now, the pommel is going to be right at the tip of my shoulder, right at the top of my scapula. So just a size comparison so you can actually visualize that and see really how much of a beast this Scottish Claymore is. And this being five and one half inches on the point of balance, if we're going into the point of balance from here for such a large blade, it actually is really versatile. I just really don't want to cut my finger right now. But point of balance is five and a half inches from the guard, allowing you to sweep cuts around, whether these are smaller cuts or even just stabilizing the tip into different guard positions, whether you're using one hand or of course, primarily two hands. Steel quality on this Kingston Arms Claymore is a 9260 high carbon steel. Easy to sharpen, easy to maintain. If you need sword maintenance stuff, you can click on cultofathena.com and just pick up a blade kit if you need to maintenance your blades, especially if you're doing cut testing with them. The interesting thing with two-handed swords and two-handed weapons in general, whether it be something like a Claymore or a long sword, even something in the pole arms category, you start to lose manipulation. So things don't get very complicated with changing guard positions, or even with these larger slashes. You have to control the center and be able to actually manipulate the weapon so you have full control over it. This Kingston Arms Claymore has no problem with that at all. A little bit over four pounds, 9260 high carbon steel blade. I'm gonna move around with this, working through different guard positions with, with two hands and also with one hand, and a little bit of cuts as well. Why? The intent is purely for you to be able to see the blade in movement and in flow. Let's take a look at that footage. In addition to working guard positions with this Kingston Arms Claymore, moving from the high positions to the center, 
even into single handed positions with this as well to dominate the center. We also did some cut testing. I did primarily upward cuts on this, raising or ascending strikes to work that on the recovery. So let's take a look at that footage on the cut testing. Thanks for joining me for this review of the Kingston Arms Claymore, Scottish Claymore. To pick this one up, click the link in the description below this video to pick up this beast of a blade. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you in the next review.